so today we are going to learn about the history of medicine so demonic or spiritual concept of the medicine naturally disease and death were the oldest problems of human kind the cause of the disease was unknown to early man and hence he found the evil power as the cause treatment of the diseases depended entirely upon the notions and beliefs of the community so in the period of supernatural conception of diseases magic came as the medicine and the priest as the healer that is why in the olden days we see a priest working as a medical man also even today we can find people believe in this in this spiritual concept of disease example chicken pox is believed to be the result of anger of goddess shakti or aman this superstition which prevailed everywhere gave authoritative position to the priest as fathers of the medical philosophy the same condition was observed in both the eastern and western concepts and parts of the world the concept of constitutions as curse of god is the cause of disease and the magic is the medicine the priest became the first doctor in the history the knowledge of priest on human structure and functioning was very limited moreover dissecting the bodies and studying anatomy in those days were not allowed they developed the theory of humors and believed that the diseases were because of either excess or deficiency of one of the humors humors are the fluids that are present in the body that are blood bile phlegm and yellow bile This was purely based on their imagination and experience so the drugs they used to cure the diseases were also based on superficial resemblance of the nature of the disease and the physiological appearance of the drugs they called this as doctrine of signature ancient medical systems of the world in that egyptian system of medicine comes very early and it is known as to be the oldest system of medical Egyptian system of medicine 2900 BC Egyptian medical system is considered as a well organized and oldest system by the western medical historians the medical men of this system were considered as sacred public servants free medical treatment was given to all the citizens Imhotep was a very influential and well respected personality in the Egyptian medicine he had a multifaceted personality motep had a strong belief that the triangular and pyramidal shape is auspicious horus is the egyptian god of health the story goes like this that god horus lost his eye during the fight with demon set but the eye was restored by a miracle after the healing process was over a scar remained on the injured eye of horus this scar resembled the english alphabet r that is considered as the origin for the symbol rx in medical prescriptions written by doctors all over the world today the meaning of the sign rx is to give or to receive now the chinese medical system 2700 bc the chinese medicine is still alive in its form acupuncture hydrotherapy massage moxibustion treatments are some of the famous forms of chinese medicine the emperor shan nong is the father of chinese medicine chang chung king and hua tu are notable medical personalities of this system the chinese medicine revolves around the yin yang theory according to this theory health is a balanced state between natural yin and yang forces yin is a negative force and yang is a positive force the life force called qi or chai will be circulating in the healthy body in a harmonious and uninterrupted manner in some imaginary channels in our body these channels are called meridians any disturbance to the flow or balance of these yin and yang forces will result into the blockage of meridians this obstructs the circulation of the life force called qi or chai g thus leading to various diseases Indian system of medicine 1500 BC Ayurvedic system is considered as the most ancient sanatan method of treatment by the Indians The proof of written documents collected dated back to 700 BC the Rig Veda is believed to be founded in 1500 BC Ayurveda is respected as the fifth Veda Pancham 
veda by the indians the meaning of the word ayur means life and veda means science indian mythology explains that god dhanvantri invented this system with the blessings of the almighty he then taught this sacred practice to divine twins ashwini brothers his adherent followers ashwini brothers passed on the skill of practice to the sacred sages of india and this became the popular indian indian medical system ayurveda the ayurvedic philosophy revolves around the theory of three humors three doshas three doshas vat pitt and kaf the imbalance of these three humors results into the disease the great physician surgeon sushrut is considered as the father of ayurvedic surgery his treatise sushrut samhita contains the medicinal and surgical techniques of this system saint patanjali introduced the asthang yoga into the medical ayurvedic system today yoga is regaining its fame all over the world as the best method of preventing diseases greek system of medicine 1200 bc important greek physician worth mentioning is asclepius asclepius or asclepius is a remarkable medical personality of greek medical system and later became the roman god of medicine Apollo gave him the powers to treat people and the Asclepius later became a great physician. Chiron taught Asclepius the art of healing. One of the Asclepius healing talents was treatment through touch. His healing power was so strong that he started to raise people from the dead. Asclepius believed that the health and the diseases are due to changing pattern of tension and relaxation. His theory is called methodism. It is also said that Hippocrates was a descendant of Asclepius the father of medicine Hippocrates belongs to Greek system of medicine the Hippocratic era Hippocratic era ancient Greek civilization was at its peak during the 400 BC during this period of time sick people went to temple dedicated to Asclepius the Greek god of healing At this time a man named Hippocrates began teaching that every disease had only natural causes. He was born and trained at the dream temple of island of Kos and was a pupil of Herodotus. Hippocrates was the first person to state that diseases can be treated with medicines. Hippocrates rejected the superstition and magic of primitive medicine. and laid the foundations of medicine as a branch of science and not a religion hippocrates made an attempt to classify diseases as deviations from from normal healthy states he didn't encourage the fanciful theories to explain diseases hence hippocrates is considered as the father of medicine by the western group he advised to use law of similia in curable diseases and law of dissimilia in incurable and palliative diseases the entire collections of hippocrates are compiled into a book called corpio hippocraticum the greek physician herophilos pedanius and polus agineta were pioneers in the study of anatomy Dioscorides is also one of the pioneer worth mentioning in Greek medical system Dioscorides wrote an extensive treatise on the practice of pharmacology Roman medical system Roman medical system is considered as the extension of Greek medical system the important medical personalities of this system are Celsus and Claudius Galen Aulus Cornelius Celsus Aulus Cornelius Celsus was considered by most of the historians as Roman physician. Celsus is considered to be explained the cardinal signs of inflammation, calor, dolor, tumor and rubor. He described first century Roman surgical procedures like removal of cataract, treatment for bladder stones and the setting of fractures. He described the preparation of numerous ancient medical remedies including the preparation of opioids. Celsus advocated that the cure must be situ tuto at jikinde that is cure must take place speedily safe and in an agreeable manner. Now the Galenian era 
Claudius Galen was born near about the Asia Minor. His teachings dominated the medical world for about 1200 years. He championed the law of dissimilia. He is considered as the father of antipathy. Though he was influenced by Hippocratic teachings, he never believed in the law contraria contraris curenter that means opposite cures opposite the law of antipathy galen used hippocrates theory of the four humors and his writings became the foundations of medicine in europe and middle east for centuries arabian medical system because of galenian dominance not much progress was noticed in the western medical world between 500 to 1500 ad any attempt to question galenian superiority was punished severely during this period the arabian translated the greek and romanian medical literature into arabian and preserved it arabians had medical schools at cairo damascus and baghdad the words like drugs alcohol syrup sugar etc have originated from arabic words arabians were good chemists and pharmacologists they had good authority on materia medica and preparation of various drugs jabu or geber the father of elmeki discovered nitric acid distillation process filtration sublimation and water bath because of some religious beliefs they restrained themselves from dissecting bodies hence anatomy and surgeries were neglected and chemistry and pharmacology were encouraged in the arabian countries church authority as the greek and roman civilization started fading the religious belief took upper hand in the society during this period and and gradually ruling power came in the hands of church authority progress in the medical wisdom almost came to a standstill any scientific research was considered as an anti religious act and anti biblical The church authority almost retarded the growth of medical progress. Followers of Hippocrates and Galen blindly followed their teachings without the spirit of scientific inquiry. Extreme punishment was given to those who rebelled against the church. Michael Servetus, a Spaniard, was burnt alive because he discovered pulmonary circulation which was against the traditional believers. The father of modern anatomy, Vesalium, was severely punished because he dissected the human dead bodies to remove the myths of that time william harvey was criticized and troubled by many because of the his discovery of systemic circulation which again was against the belief of that day but the investigations of such pioneers proved the importance of scientific inquiry renaissance period 16th and 17th century medicine birth of scientific inquiry The Renaissance period came as an age of reasoning and helped to improve knowledge of men based on scientific investigations. The church authority gradually lost its power and hold on scientific investigations. Renaissance period starts from the date of the discovery of America by Columbus. Lord Francis Bacon of England father of objective and realistic methodologies in modern philosophy and Robert Boyle a chemist stressed on the need of holistic system of medicine considering both body and mind of a person while treating the sick it is a strange fact that both these men were non medical persons medical men of 17th century were interested only in the study of matter that is body and not in the existence of life force Physicians of the 17th century were divided into two schools based on their thoughts. First, iatro or medical physical school, also called as iatro mechanical school, they considered body as a mere machine. According to them, body functions just like that of a machine, both in health and disease. So logically, the laws of mechanics can be implemented in the in treating the sick. Great physicians like Sancotrios, Borelli, Bagilvi were supporters of this school. Second one is Iatro chemical school. This school believed that the functions that are taking place in the body are nothing but the result of a series of chemical reactions. Body is just like a test tube, hence the law of chemistry can be applied to study the diseased persons. 
वॉन हेलमोंट फ्रेंकिस सिल्वीना वर द फॉलोअर्स ऑफ दिस स्कूल एटीन सेंचुरी मेडिसिन बाय द बिगनिंग ऑफ एटीन सेंचुरी द कंट्रोल ऑफ चर्च अथॉरिटी ओवर मेडिसिन हैड कम्प्लीटली फेडिड अवे द एंटायर यूरोप वॉज फुल ऑफ थ्योरीज एंड हाइपोथिस रिगार्डिंग द नेचर एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डिजीजेस फिजिशियंस वर डिवाइडेड इन टू वेरियस ग्रुप्स ऑफ थाट्स ईच एंड एवरी ग्रुप केम आउट विद देयर थ्योरीज टू एक्सप्लेन द नेचर एंड कॉज ऑफ डिजीजेस क्रूअल ट्रीटमेंट्स लाइक ब्लड लेटिंग वेनिसेक्शंस गम अरेबिक सोल्यूशंस मस्टर्ड प्लास्टर्स शॉर्ट गन प्रिस्क्रिप्शंस केयरलेस वन साइडेड सिम्टम प्रिस्क्रिप्शंस सेट ऑन ईशूज creating an ulcer surgically and keeping the blood and pus to go out as it was believed that the bad blood in the body is the cause for the diseases leeches applications and various other cruel methods were freely used by then physicians on the other hand the subjects like anatomy physiology developed very nicely under the experiments of physicians like vesalius veroli ronaldo gidividus Betalis, Eustachius, Fallopius, Scotti, Mephigius, Scarpa, Steno, Riffini, Fontana, Morgagni, Velselva, Glaucomini, Pessini, Pessiochinus, and Golgi, etc. But the medical man remained under confusion as no universally applicable theory was present to cure the diseases. Morgagni's experiments in anatomy and physiology have proved that the diseases are only due to pathologic pathological changes in the tissues and organs but he had forgotten to answer that why this pathological changes took place in the previously healthy tissues era of cellular pathology and era of bacteriology the 19th and 20th century medicine With the invention of preliminary microscope by Antony von Leeuwenhoek the interest of medical person shifted to microscopic cellular level which show the father of pathology said that the structural changes in the cell are the real cause of the disease the materialistic concept reached to the cellular level at this stage Robert Koch the father of bacteriology with his studies on the culture of anthrax bacillus experiments of hansen on lepra bacillus sneezer on gonococcus oxton on staphylococcus loffler on diphtheria and the experiments of pasteur etc attracted the attention of world towards the theory of infection and contagion bacteria and viruses were considered to be the only cause of the diseases Fleming accidentally discovered the penicillin by paving way to the antibiotic era in the medical history. The medical fraternity almost celebrated their triumph on diseases. But the development of drug resistance in bacteria presented severe difficulties. Ultra microscopic organisms like viruses were newly identified as causative agents of diseases that do not respond to antibiotics. Today the medical world is realizing that the bacteriology cannot supply the answer to all the diseases kill the germ and cure disease is not the universally applicable law of cure bacteriology takes the credit of improving the sanitary hygienic status of the general public it also helped in eradication of some infectious diseases so this was the history of medicine and medical science everything that we are doing today is the result of all the constructions experiments and everything from thousands of years ago from the history or the past the development have been happening and we are growing and understanding diseases and cure in every possible way so this was the history of medicine thank you and subscribe and like the video if you liked it do subscribe the channel